Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom to the elect of Yahshua Allah. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, and you Israelite fullness. All right, before we can start with the lesson, we're gonna face the East, and we wanna give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadas. All right, double honors. Double honors. To the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim that is laboring the works. And shalom wow. to you, believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which will be your brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. I brought this out today's lesson is edifying and playing upon the tables. All right, I'm your brother Malkaya. I'm your brother Yohanan. All right, we out here in Pasadena, Texas, pushing out the word. Brother Amir is out there in South Houston, pushing out the word. I brought this out there, brother Amir, we better go out and push out the word, feed the flock today. So today's topic, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Rachak with us, you know, it's going to go into like a, a um, uh, like pretty much like to be prepared to be falsely accused, slash betrayed, slash circumspect, because in the times we in right now, in the times that we are about to enter, we're uh, the the, uh, the the elect pretty much. Started with the 144,000 elect men. Start with the prophets, all the way down to uh, the, ch the, the the children that makes up the remnant. Right? We're about to be falsely accused, some some shape, way, or form. Uh, the accuser of thy brethren, yep. right? Our evil twin brother Esau, even so-called white man. Is about to falsely accuse us as being the let's say T errorists. You know what I'm talking about. Alright? And uh about to falsely accuse us for things that we are not. Okay? And how uh you no know, elders lately been been doing lessons on how like to be more Clark Clinton is true. And then shortly after that, you know. Uh, why Why is that we need to be more Clark Clinton is true And to be uh, careful of how we present ourselves off camera Even on camera when we're doing lessons Okay Alright To be more Clark Clinton Because real soon they, uh, the, the Our enemy is about to tie us With uh, for an example with the whole uh, Like with the, with the with the Muslim Brotherhood group Because because they're known as being you know, T you No know, militant T Everest, if you want to call it. Yep. All right. Like for, uh, uh, you got uh, unknown, out of nowhere, new YouTube channels that's putting GMS within their names and just seeing some bug out crazy shit yep. on, on, on Brothers Live Lessons. All right. You got this one guy who just came out of the Woolworths who goes by Army of Yahweh Shai. His logo looks just like. Uh, like, like like the Islam Brotherhood, okay, coming in, uh, actually knowing the names too, all right. But uh, you got a lot of spies, uh, either watching us from a distance, but closely, or actually in a camp, watching, observing, scoping you out, man, trying to find uh, reasons to uh, accuse us for something evil. So we gotta be we gotta be very careful nowadays on, on, on how we walk it. How we talking to people? Actually applying the wisdom and knowledge into our day-to-day -day walks, man, and be a lot more circumspect. All right. So uh, and, and, and when that uh, when uh, that persecution comes comes upon, you know the uh, the, the, the the prophets, you know the uh, the the, uh, the elect, right? It started with the prophets and, and the Israelites on down that makes up the uh, the fold, the one third. Right? Don't be surprised that that betrayal, during that persecution, you're gonna have your own father, your mother, your cousins, your, your siblings, all right? Your brothers who may got a, a rib, a woman, probably gonna betray you, your children betraying you, and vice versa for you, uh, for, for the sisters that, that do believe that you probably got a man, but he's a non-believer, he's probably gonna persecute against you, all right? Throw you under the bus at some point, okay? Your kids going against you, all right? People we, people we went to high school with, day you know, ones. your so-called day ones, you know, familiar faces, all right? 
all right? So we gotta be much more careful of how we speak, what we say, how we say it, whether it's on camera or off camera, okay? And be careful on, on, on how much information you reveal to people when you're out here in, the day, in your day-to-day -day walk. All right, because you don't want to be going around just telling everybody, yeah, I mean, Hebrew is like, you probably just got marked by an enemy, yep. all right? But at the end of the day, we're going to make enemies anyway because we, we, we come uh, serving Yahweh Shah Mashiach, all right? But you don't want to purposely make enemies yep. for doing wrong. If you're going to make enemies, do it for doing right, doing if that makes sense, all right? This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right? And the GNT is titled as coming persecutions. Right? So in a good news translation, in a good news translation, listen, I am sending you, right? Our power is sending who? The elect. Start, especially the prophets Because the prophets got to come out here And make their faces known To the people right. Coming out to the chief uh, To uh, to the chief concord places The highways, the hedges, the byways Not just being all great teaching All right, you know, We actually going out to the public And make our faces known Our voices heard All right, okay, right All And then you know And then for the for the others that makes up the body Of Yahweh Shai Masiyah All right, the elect, right we are being sent, right? Listen, I am sending you out just like sheep to a pack of wolves. And we're literally in the midst of wolves. Pretty much everyone and anyone that's outside of the secret council, you can look at them as a wolf. Whether it's an Israelite that know he and she is an Israelite, like, uh, what's it, uh, even though, uh, what's it, uh, um, uh, I, they're, uh, they're, uh, they're, their outward part is like it's like a sheep, you know, but their inward thoughts is just like ravening wolves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? You got a lot of Israelites that have the appearance of like us, you know? Because you know, some of them got facial hair, full beards, some of them wear headbands. They got a garment, rent it, you know, back and front. They know the name, Jehovah Bashim Yahweh Shad. All right? All right? But, right, they, 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 the outward appearance is like a man of the Lord, right? But the inward thoughts. You know, it's like a wolf trying to devour you with with a uh, false doctrine. Yep. All right, poison, a tree that produces bad fruit, yep. giving you a poison bad fruit, which is a, a, a metaphor for uh, uh, let's say a false prophet feeding you spiritually false doctrine. Right, but they have to, they have the appearance though. All right, but inwardly, now nah, I mean it's corrupt. And then you know, and then everyone else outside of that. Just your day-to-day -day average Americans out here. Two-thirds Israelites are even like on to uh, wolves, okay? And the people of the other nations, man. We're literally as sheep in the, in the midst of wolves, man, right? And wolves are very, you know, strong. They're powerful, okay? Very deadly. Sheeps are very defenseless. They're weak. But the sheep can outsmart. It can actually defeat the wolf if it use if it outsmarted, if it thinks wisdom and knowledge to defeat strength. And that's how we're supposed to be with this wisdom and knowledge, right? Uh, you must be as cautious as snakes and as gentle as doves. A snake is very aware, is very circumspect of its surroundings. Looking out to see uh, who, who's a prey, who's a predator, uh, you know, potential danger. It may seem calm, Right? It's cunning too. Right? Right? So you want to have the mindset of being very cunning but righteously with the scriptures. Right. Using Yahweh Shemeshah's wisdom and knowledge to maneuver through wolves. Right? While being gentle as doves. Okay? Because 
is a time and place when you where you need to be a serpent and strike. And there's a time and place where you need to hold back and not try to stir up a unnecessary fight, if that makes sense. Alright, right. All right, I'm gonna read it again. Listen, I am sending you out just like sheep to a pack of wolves. You must be cautious as snakes and as gentle as wolves. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. Alright? We don't need to be out here trying to bicker and and, 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 and all, always arguing with somebody. You know, no, you probably got somebody talking shit from like across the street to us, but just ignore them. Use the wisdom now, it's like, hey, you know, y'all watch me, I'm trying to destroy your ass. The scripture does say, you know, X, Y, Z, like, every hey, either word shall be used against you. And the last day shall be scoffers and mockers, you know. You can apply that all together with like, oh shit, Isaiah 33 and 6. You know, the wisdom of knowledge of Yahweh Shmuel is trying to keep you stable in that moment. So, so, so you can be wise as a serpent, but your harms as a dove. We ain't gonna give that person the time of day trying to debate with them or argue with them. Man, just let them talk all the shit they want. Like, well, keep talking shit, alright? I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna I'm, 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 uh, I'm still be aware of you, though. Just in case, I'm gonna be aware of you. But I'm, 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 I'm gonna be harmless. I'm gonna be peaceful. Okay? No, okay. I'm gonna get uh, followers in chapter 15. Uh, one, one, two. Uh, I think uh, I think a soft answer to anybody you rap, if I'm mistaken. Proverbs, uh, what? Chapter 15, verse 1 2. Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1 through 2. A soft answer turneth away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge. All right. But the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. Right, so in the GNT, it says, A gentle answer quiets anger, but a harsh one stirs it up. So, for an example, right, let's say you come across somebody, whether you're at camp, right, or you just. You know, you're off camera, you're doing, you're, you're out and about in your day-to-day, -day, you know, running errands, probably the gym, probably getting food, you at the restaurant, you probably at, at, at a, at a lounge with, with, with the, with the Akim, you, you know, you're chilling, you know, you're just out and about somewhere, right, being peaceful, and you got somebody that just, especially at camp too, especially when you're on camera teaching, you got scoffers and monkeys just talking shit, you know, trying to debate with you, cussing you out, calling you all kinds of names and shit, right? trying to get you to strike back to make you seem like 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 you're the uh like you're wrong here make it seem like you're the troublemaker right so instead of uh pretty much trying to match up with the scoffer's energy right. you know you're gonna argue back you know to, you're gonna turn to a fucking pit bull just go, la, 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 la. right you know you may have a scoffer that's probably you know scoffing and mocking right trying to tell you that oh this is not what the scripture means and that instead of arguing with them and raising your voice at them just prove it with the scriptures to 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 fight against that argument spiritually with your how about me with Shah's word the spiritual sword fight against it with the word like hey look it according to the scriptures according to the bible this is what it says about what uh, what uh, what the scripture you just brought out this is what it means this is the, this is the proper breakdown okay this is a precept for it as the scripture says, precept upon precept, right? Line upon line. Why you think King David? King David was like, uh, through thy precepts, I get understanding. No, you good. It's a nice dog, by the way. Right? Perfect example, right here. Per per huh? Uh, perfect example, right? Uh, perfect example. A gentle answer quiets anger, right? But a harsh one stirs it up, right? I could have been asking like, yo, what the fuck you doing? Like, like, why the fuck you pulling up behind me like that? I, I could have, you know, I could have, you know. Yeah, it could have turned real hostile. Real quick. Using foolishness with your words, but yep, you know, yep. you're all like, you know, oh, it's all good. Nice yeah. dog, by the way. Yeah, right, right here, verse two, it says, <laughs> when wise people speak, they make knowledge attractive, but stupid people spout nonsense. And I like the KJV where it says how uh, the, the wise tongue, it says, that the tongue of the wise speak of knowledge, something along that line, yeah. the original one, right? So you can use that as an example, all right? I didn't get carnal. I kept it spiritual. I kept it, you know, peaceful, 
But hey, you, hey, you know, you cool, you good, you know. Right, you know, you, you're not harming us, right? You know, you got a nice dog, I ain't gonna lie. It's, 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 it's an adorable looking dog. Look, it's an adorable dog. I like, I like dogs, right? <laughs> Get the peaceful, man, all right? So yeah, you know, and, and like, let's say you got somebody that's, that's trying to argue with you, trying to break down the scriptures the wrong way based off their opinion, what they think the Bible says, you don't need to raise your voice and try to, you know, get loud and cuss at them. Just, just go to the scriptures. Okay, according to the scriptures, according what the what the Bible says, you know, preach upon precept. Just, all right, right, edify. Right, right, the scripture says, approve all things. Right, right, right. And you do that with the scripture. Don't don't try to prove it with uh, trying to be very masculine, trying to be loud, trying to be dominant. Just be calm and cool, collective about it. Okay. All right, because if you try to react with the same type of energy that he came through, you're gonna get the ministry blamed. Yeah, and then you know all of a sudden you know fringes are flying all over the place, and you, know, you, got, a, you got a fight going on. It's no reason, man. All right, no reason. All right, so the point is, you know, right? Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. A precept for that, an example, right? Uh, uh, right? Be wise as serpents. Like, okay, all right. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the scriptures against him. I'm a mind fucker, not knowing. <laughs> all right, he's he, he's getting all tough. He seems like he's macho man. He's trying to. He 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 just coming with with an all vibe, you know, right? But you know you know what? I'm gonna be peaceful about it. All right, I'm gonna give him a soft answer. I'm gonna prove it to scriptures. If he doesn't get it, hey, like 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 uh, like, like the elder say, if a nigga can't get it, we moving on. Yep. I'm gonna tell you the scriptures. If you still can't get it, you still uh, uh, whether you're here for a bear. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna prove it the scriptures, and we keep moving after that. Yep. With a soft answer though, in a peaceful matter. Alright? You got something? Yeah. Alright, uh, this is 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15 through 16. I like this. Wendy as well. In the New Living Translation, it says. Oh, yeah, the one you, yeah, we put me on earlier. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it says, instead, you must worship Christ, right? The anointed one, Hamashiach, as Lord. Yahweh Shai of your life. And if someone asks about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. But do this in a gentle, all right? Do this in a gentle and respectful way. Keep your conscience clear. Then if people seek, I mean, speak against you, they will be ashamed when they see what a good life you live because you belong to Yahweh Shai of Mashiach. So when a person, you know, comes and asks questions, you know, answer them. Explain the, uh, you know, answer the question, you know, explain the scriptures, break it down in a gentle and respectful way. No need to be over, trying to over masculate somebody. You know, trying to be violent and, and very, you know, like um, uh, hostile towards somebody. You know what I mean? Because we're gentle and peaceful men. But the thing is also, we're not choir boys as well. We're not punching bags. We're not punching bags. Know what I'm saying, but you know, you come up to us sincerely trying to ask, trying to ask a question, we are gonna answer it. It being very peaceful, we're gonna break it down to you, real simple, plain upon the tables, right? In a gentle and respectful way. But the thing is, you know, there are gonna be people that are actually agents, spies, that are gonna be coming up to the camp, being hostile, because they wanna, they, they got a, they got a person recorded all the way over there to see you fight and throw hands, to try to criminalize us. You know what I mean? To try to get the ministry blamed like we're violent men, but we're not violent men, we're very peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got it. it says, so like, you know, when people speak against you, they're gonna be ashamed because they, they all those hurtful and, and, and messed up words that they say against us that we're violent men, it's good, they're gonna be ashamed because we're not. You know what I mean? It's gonna be proven by people just asking simple questions to us right now. We're gonna answer it, we're gonna be peaceful. We're not gonna be hostile, we're not gonna be violent. You know, we do it like Yahweh Shai did it, man. He answered questions peacefully. He didn't yell and say, you know, like, call people names, you know, be very hostile towards people, no. You know what I'm saying? So we must conduct ourselves as such, you know? Uh, well, I got a precept to pretty much add it to that. Uh, the book of Colossians, chapter 4, verse 6, and the KJV, it says, let your speech, you know, it's like, no matter, matter of fact, it's like, I'm going to start at verse 5. Verse 5. It says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. 
redeeming the time. All right, so right, we've been blessed, right, to have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. So we got to deal with the people of this world accordingly. With the, with the scriptures understand like okay he or she don't understand right so i gotta be patient i gotta understand the fact that he or she don't have this wisdom and knowledge on how to deal with people right all right so not so so we're held on, on a higher standard because we were given we've been entrusted with with the wisdom and knowledge of your house all right so we gotta you know walk in wisdom among those that were felt for the, and, and uh right for example right um, make sure that uh, you know uh, we give a soft answer, so we uh, so we don't turn uh, no turn to wrath. Just paraphrasing, all right? Like the brother just read in uh, First Peter, right? Was the First Peter? You know, whenever someone asks us questions about the truth, what we want, how it's in ways, you know, make sure you answer it in a peaceful manner. Yep. All right, make sure that so, so you trying to try to make yourself as as blameless as possible. Right, right. as possible. Okay, all right. It says redeeming the time, right? Like it says, uh, to, to walk to walk as wise, not as fools, but walk circumspectly, redeem the time to evil, just paraphrasing. All right, because the the, the, uh, the days we're about to enter is very evil, especially um, that persecution that's going to come upon the men of the Lord, the, the one third, the Israelites. Okay, that uh, that great insurrection is going to be not just a violent uprising, but a great violent uprising. Upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Okay? Alright? Verse 6 in the book of Colossians, chapter 4, verse 6. Let your speech, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how ye ought to answer every man. Alright, so. There's going to be times where you're going to have a non-believer, whether he's a, whether he or she's a scoffer or a mocker, but you're going to have a non-believer, you know, that's going to come to the camp and just be curious. Maybe there's a demon on on the individual, there's a spirit on the individual. They just want to know. They're just curious. They want to ask something, right? Just 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 answer the question, okay? Prove with the scriptures, and just be peaceful about it. Answer with grace. Show that. Uh, that that you're that you're I want to say proud, but you're, you're you're thankful to be a servant of Yahweh of, of, of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. You, you you know you're trying to put on a, 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 a the right image. You know that even though you're you're not a believer, you don't have the understanding of the scriptures. But I'm gonna deal with you according to the scriptures, right? right? I'm gonna tell you the proper breakdown of the scriptures that 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 you just quoted. And I'm gonna tell you what it really means. Right? You know through the spirit of power Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. I'm not gonna get angry at you. Cuss you out and shit like that. Yeah. I'm gonna be peaceful, keep it playing upon the tables, be straight to the point with it. At the end of the day, they don't know. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They were just like us in the world. We didn't know shit about yep. this truth. Mm -hmm. No? Yep. Shit, who knows? Maybe that person that did came to camp may not be, uh, may be a non believer right now, but may turn out to be one of the believers later on, later on, later on when all hell breaks loose. Yep. Right? And because you, uh, you 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 dealt with the Jake or Eve accordingly, right? Peacefully, right? You kept your speech with, uh, with grace, with, with salt, right? You you was peaceful, peaceful about it. They gonna remember you like, damn, I remember that guy. You know, uh, I remember uh, with that guy I, over at you know over there. You know, we was talking about the Bible. You know, he he was he seemed very calm, peaceful, but he sees your face on on, on TV yep. that apparently you're this violent. Criminal, you're a terrorist, or you no, know, you're being falsely accused. But then he's looking at it like that. Don't sound like him because I actually met him. I spoke to him. Yeah. He actually took the time. He was patient with me. You know, no trying to edify me. You know, no, you know, you know, talk to me with, with the scriptures. Oh, you know, no, no, and like, like, like you said, how like, uh, well, like, like in like First Peter, how like, how like, uh, they're gonna be ashamed yeah. when, they, when they find out that like, 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 like we were innocent, pretty much. Yeah. They're gonna be ashamed. Like, damn. Well, nah, nah, nah. Something ain't right. Yep. All right. So you know, keep your speech with season and salt with grace. Be peaceful about it. Right. Even though the scripture does say, you know, even though I may be rude of speech, but not a lot knowledge. There is times where we you know we'll cuss out from time to time, but that doesn't mean like we just want to cuss you out like. 
no, like yeah. on camera, no, like we, no, like right, like right now, you know, sometimes we say shit, damn, what the fuck, like we, we you know, we cut hair and there, you know, we're, we're men, yeah, all right. Prove our point with that sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes you need to prove a point with a with an f bomb in it from time to time, you know, yeah. you know. <laughs> but it's how you say if that makes sense. Yeah. Take care. All right. Um, you want to get the book of Philippians chapter two verse fifteen? Philippians chapter 2 verse 15 that ye may be blameless and harmless the sons of Yahweh without rebuke in the midst of the crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world uh, I'm trying to get in can you get in the GNC? Yeah, I'm having a hard time trying to get in there GNT. It's a small chapter, that's why. <laughs> GNT is pretty good. I like the GNT. Book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Alright, so same scripture in the Good News Translation. So that so that you may be innocent and pure. As Yahweh's perfect children. Who I, it's like in children, originally supposed to be sons. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you know, you, we, we do got uh, uh, the elect lady. You got, it's like woman that's that's part of the remnant that's going to get saved too. So your sisters, you know, conduct yourself a certain way too. Yeah. All right, but started with the men, especially if you're a brother that, that's teaching. Okay. All right. Who live in a world of corrupt and sinful people. You must shine among them at it's lucky. You must shine among them like stars lighting up the sky. Right, so for an example, right? The the, the previous scriptures. Uh, let your speech be with uh with grace and season with salt, just paraphrasing. What you write in first Peter, right? How like to always give a, a like like a like a peaceful answer. Yep. Like, right? Um be wise as serpents, palmist as doves. Okay. Uh, uh, a soft answer turn away wrath all right so by you doing all these things if you're applying these these precepts this precept this wisdom and knowledge to your walk right you will make yourself in the eyes of our power blameless so when that persecution does happen right they can't really blame you for anything because right. you know you you walk according to the scriptures and the scriptures help you be holy be set apart from the people of this world and the people of this world is what it's, it's a corrupt world of, of sinful people yep. constantly doing evil we're in the midst of wolves. We're in the midst of people that actually like to that actually lie upon each other, man. Right. We got we got many false witnesses that that that's that's taking uh, that, that, that that's taking place within his ministry upon brothers, brothers brothers are being accused of being a, a, a rapist, brothers are being accused of being a thief, a murderer. It's all kinds, all kinds of shit, man. All right, all right. Right, so we're trying to make ourselves as blameless as possible so we can be found innocent in the eyes of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Especially when they got us our faces all over throughout the TV, the bulletin boards, and you know, whatever you can project, you know, uh, 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 a digital image of someone. All right. <laughs> uh, is it something? Oh, no. Okay. Let's get, uh, let's get the book of Matthew, chapter 5. Uh, uh, the, that's what the peacemakers, right there, the, the children. That's how you that first question you said that was for 9 to 12 we get sit after, right? Yeah, chapter 5 verse 9 to 12. Matthew chapter 5, 9 to 12, right? Alright, this is Matthew chapter 5, 
verse 9 through 12. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of Yahweh. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Right, so verse 9, right? Right? So blessed are the Hebrew Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, name it the Indians, it's like foreigners. Started with the uh, the the, uh, the the men with within the remnant, right, right. Blessed are are y'all who, uh, who who are peacemakers, right? You're not out here trying to be a brawler, right? Always trying to argue with somebody, trying to make a point. You know, you're peaceful, you're laid back, all right. You're calm, collective. You're very observant. You know, we talk to you like that. You're peaceful, all right. You ain't trying to cause problems. You ain't you ain't walking around here like a like like an average uh, nigga like. Yeah. Right, cause no, hey, hey you no, know, two thirds are like going to another nation, man. Yeah, they don't really conduct themselves as Hebrew Israelites. They don't present themselves as as Israel, as Yahshua Allah, princes of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. They're just Israelites that know that they're an Israelite, but they still got the mindset of a, of, of your average, you know, dog street culture. You know, uh, uh, Jake and Eve out here, all right, with fringes on, with Glocks and shit, making themselves look more, making themselves look militant. Yeah. All right, making them so actually look like uh, like they're part of the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah, I'm like Black Panther shit. Yeah, that's like a whole other nation. We call them nigger likes. Yeah. They're Israelites that behave like a typical, you know, ninja, man. All right. So, but the elect are going to apply the, uh, the the wisdom and knowledge into their day to day walk to be found blameless, to be found perfect in the eyes of our power, to be found as uh, peacemakers. The, the, the children, the sons, and the daughters, the, the sons of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. Uh, you can continue on to what the verse left. Uh, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Right. So, blessed are ye when men shall revile you, right? When, 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 when the people of this world, which is what? Corrupt and, and sinful people, right? Right. I, that even applies to, to, to two thirds of our nation, right? When the when the people of the other nations, the Edomites, the heathens, right? When they when they uh when they when the world begins to revile us, they start to brand us, stigmatize us, right? Uh, condemn us. They try to label us as, you know, they try to label us as like we're actually part of the. Of the actual terrorists overseas yeah all right they try to connect us with with very violent groups militant like groups black uh black panther like groups man okay all right um uh because we go into that word revile it says criticized in a abusive and angrily salty matter so it's a blessing when being uh peacemakers right children of yahweh i was shy when you know doing the right thing right when people just start calling us all kinds of names they start saying that we're this we're that we you know we we just evil just making us seem like we're so evil yep. just for preaching we just preaching we just preaching the bible yep. we just reading what yahweh how we shot says it that's it turn the camera got a got a tripod going on got some posters here and there got a 12 tribe chart a picture of yahweh shot like like a a, 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 a description keeping it keeping it uh harmless we not we not out here trying to fight nobody. We not trying to grab everybody. Just like, hey, get over here right now. Hey, if you don't repent, you gonna die. Like, we just we just we just reading the scriptures. Whoever, whichever is like is meant to hear, they gonna hear it. What are they what are they here for? Bit, all right. Okay, all right. Um, and then persecute right to uh to uh to subject someone or to hostility and ill treatment because of their ethnicity, their religious beliefs, their sexual orientation. Their political beliefs something along that line when you read it in the common dictionary so it's a blessing to be branded stigmatized condemned and to be a uh, 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 subject onto hostility and ill treatment because we are hebrew israelites okay hebrew israelites all right who's uh doing the will of yahweh shimei was shy and sincerely in truth right for an example a prophet that's out there prophesying, tell, tell, telling the truth. 
not lying about any of the scriptures. Just tell the truth. Okay? All right? Prophesying against Mount Seir, as the scriptures say, it's a prophesy against the enemy. Esau, even the so-called white man. All right? To preach the gospel to all nations, to all people. To even let the other nations know, like, hey, you go into captivity. Because of X, Y, Z, according to the scriptures, okay? Not because of what I said, it's what the scriptures say. Right. Okay? Because of what you did was in this life and our past life. You this life that don't want to repent, this is going to happen to you. X, Y, Z, precept of our precept, line upon line. Not because we said it, we're saying, we're telling you what the Lord said. All right? But people are going to, are, are going to be offended by the gospel and they're going to look at us as the enemy. Yep. So it's a blessing to be a Hebrew Israelite that's being stigmatized or branded as an enemy. As 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 uh, a extremist, uh, a, a terrorist, rapists, and, and and all kinds of other you know screwed up names, man. All right, because of our beliefs, man, or what we doing is serving y'all about shot. All right. Uh, let's see, verse twelve, right? Yeah. Come. Verse twelve. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So, hey, when that persecution come, hey, rejoice. Right? If I'm not mistaken, was it Apostle Paul? Somewhere in the books where, I think it was Apostle Paul. But it goes into how, like, uh, like when, when, when the disciples were arrested and they were told that, like, like, like they can't mention... Yahweh shot his name anymore, like, like that don't preach. And then when they got released, they were given you no know, phrase to Yahweh Bash Yahweh Shai because they were counted worthy to suffer for his for his namesake. So when that persecution come, right, you find you see you see your face on a fucking TV, <laughs> you know, you being stigmatized, you being branded, you being called this and that. Hey, rejoice because hey, you was counted worthy to suffer for right doing. Yeah. Instead of suffering as a murderer, a thief, or adulteress, a covetous. Suffer for, for evil doing pretty much, all right, all right, and not any Israelite or all Israelite was counted worthy to suffer for a great cause, to suffer for his namesake. So, so you no, know, take it as a blessing. Like, hey, you know, I was counted worthy to be persecuted for for doing something great, even though it's it's dangerous, fuck. Yep. But shit, hey, all right, we found our purpose. Yep. We finally found our purpose. All right. So yeah, just like the prophets of old. Our forefather was persecuted for for, 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 for right doing. Hey, it's gonna happen again. One more one more run of this. And guess what? The rewards is in heaven, man. A reward that we can't even put into words of how great the reward is gonna be. I'm like, damn, this is all really this? This is what I've earned? Yo, what the fuck? I thought I I, I always felt like I didn't deserve this. Right. But damn, really good. Abarazza's out, we all those very, uh, the, the elect, alright? Let's get, uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. That's the, uh, First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour right so 
and the times that we in, we definitely need to be sober, right? Uh, I got some information on that from the Lord of the Bible. You know, I'm gonna, I want to read it exactly from what I wrote it from. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so First Peter five eight, right? The, the word uh, sober, right? When you go into sober, uh, nefo, I think I said pronounce it, the Strong's G thirty five twenty five, you would get to be calm and collected in spirit, okay? To be temperate, self-restrained, or self-disciplined. Circumspect is actually a similar term for sober. So in order to be very effective at being circumspect, being able to observe what's going on around you, right? So you can be vigilant. Right, because vigilant is a similar term for circumspect as well, too. So, in order to be to 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 be effective, to be very effective at being circumspect, you got to be sober. You got to be calm. You got to be collective. That's when you can make the uh, the, the 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 best logical decisions mm -hmm. with the wisdom knowledge of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. Because if you don't know how to perform uh, uh, under pressure. You're gonna make quick, rash decisions. Yep. But when you're calm, you're, you're collective, right? You're self-restrained. You, you, you can, uh, through, the, through the spirit, you can you can have your flesh be calm and make the right decisions. Right. All right. Look around and observe and see if anything is off. Like being vigilant, right? Being ready for possible danger. Being alert, observing. All right. Because what we 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 in evil times. The enemy is much closer than you think, all right? So you definitely want to, you know, be sober a lot more, right? Try to be more calm and collective in the spirit. That's why it's very important that as a student, right, when you're getting knowledge, get understanding. Get the understanding of the scriptures. So, you know, in your day-to-day -day walks from today all the way to when all hell really break loose, you can be stable. Mentally, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. You can you can literally apply that scripture to your day-to-day -day walk and your day-to-day -day fights, you know, between the spirit and the flesh. Keep yourself calm, collective. Okay, so you don't make the wrong decisions, you don't say the wrong thing, you can make your speech with grace, seasoned with salt. Alright. Okay. Alright. Um, because what? The devil, right? The adversity, uh, the, the 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 wicked elites, right? Uh, the the so-called white people, right? The 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 Jewish people, you no know, dumb. Those that, that, that that's claiming to be Jews, but really they're the synagogue of Satan, right? Are going around constantly trying to figure out how can they uh, uh, destroy us? Yeah. How can they uh, get us kicked out of the truth? Get us kicked out of the, of the secret council? Okay. Literally, huh? Oh, so like, not going what? Like like how can we arrest them? That too, yeah. Uh huh. How can we destroy their reputation? Yep. You know? uh -huh. Yep. Hey, that's perfect because we just read it in Matthew about how like uh, blessed are ye that's per that when men shall revile you, yep. right? A uh, 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 brand new stigmatize you, right? Right? Like you say, you know, uh, try to try to lock us up and try to you know label us as something that that we're not. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, this is Luke chapter twenty one. Verse 12 through 15, I got it in the message version. It says, but before any of this happens, they'll arrest you, hunt you down, and drag you to court and jail. All right, so when that persecution happens, all right, they're, they're most likely gonna put a bounty on a lot of our heads. You know what I mean? Saying, you know, hunt them down, and if you get them, right, we'll give you this much money, right? And that's why there's gonna be a lot of familiar faces. You know what I mean? Your day ones, you know, family members that are going to be hunting you down so they can get that money. You know what I'm saying? Or they're just going to be people just simply hating you because Esau has image, uh, uh, put an image on you to make it seem like you're a very violent you know, person. But we're not. We're very peaceable men that are just teaching the word of Yahweh about Shemel Shai, man. People who, people who we've probably never seen before. Yep. People from, like, states, different time zones, <laughs> countries, having an evil eye from like, yo, I never met you. Yeah. I don't know you. You hate me this much? Can you tell me the reason why you hate me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is false. <laughs> you know? But it says, uh, drag you to court and jail. So a lot of us are going to be dragged to court 
we're gonna be dragged to jail, to prison, you know what I'm saying? And it says, it will go from bad to worse. Dog eat dog. Everyone at your throat because you carry my name. And what name is that? Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Nobody on this on this earth carries the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, but his men. Everybody else calls on Jesus. Everybody else calls on Buddha, Allah, all these false names and, 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 and religions. You know what I mean? But us teaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we're the ones that are already being persecuted. A little bit though. You know what I mean? Our, 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 our videos get removed. You know, we get striked on YouTube. Our whole channel gets uh, terminated, but everybody else teaching false doctrines and, talk, and, and, and uh, teaching in false gods, they don't get striked. They don't, they don't go through that, but we are. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it says, uh, you'll end up on the witness stand called to testify. <laughs> you'll end up on the witness stand called to testify. Make up your mind right now not to worry about it. I'll give you the words and wisdom that will reduce all your accusers to stammers and stutters. Exactly, man. So, you know, make up your mind to rely on your Alba Shemir al to give you the words of wisdom and knowledge to reduce all your accusations that are against you. You know what I mean? Like the brother said, be vigilant, be sober. Be calm and collective in a time of trouble. And in a time of uh, uh, persecution, it's going to be a time of trouble for us. We're going to be hunted down. Some of us are going to be taken to prison, put into court. Where a lot of these uh, uh, lawyers and, and, and uh, you know, attorneys or whatever are, are having files and cases against you that are actually false. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, putting the image of you of being a violent person, a violent man. You know what I mean? Be calm and collective because the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to give you the wisdom and knowledge to reduce all your accusations, to make them look stupid. They're going to be uh, stammering and stuttering like, oh, oh, oh. Yep. Because they know they was lying. It shall be a shame. Yep. Before you read in First Peter, you had to go uh -huh. be a shame. Like, damn. <laughs> He's actually a peaceful man. We would have never thought. You know? But, uh, you know, you got to I'm going to get out of Ephesians right quick. Chapter 5, verse 15 to 16, the KJV. See then that you walk circumspectly, right? You walk cautiously, careful, watchful, alert, vigilant. Cir circumspect. So circum is like a circle. No, 360, right? Spec is when you're like observing something, you're analyzing something. So analyze your, your surrounding 360. Right. Looking at things spiritually. Alright? Because everything is spiritual. You can always receive something spiritual. A spiritual message from anything. Like, okay, you know, I, uh, lately I've been seeing this going on lately that, that's kind of abnormal. You know, let, let, me, let, me, let me be mindful of that. Like, hmm, at the gym, I'm seeing a lot of uh, young fighting age men and women here all of a sudden looking like, 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 a, like, like your average looking heathen. Where you look kind of fit. I never yep. see you before. I'm seeing a lot of faces who look like this guy out of prison. Yep. But like, you, you, you're putting off a certain vibe. Like, every time when I see you looking at me, you're looking at me with, with a certain look. Like, you're watching. Yeah, yeah you're watching. So, you know what? Like, be, be circumspect, man. All right? Be alert. Be watchful. Walk cautious, walk cautious, man. Okay. Um, it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right? The days are evil. Like uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, just paraphrasing how that in the last days shall be perilous times. Yep. It's going to be dangerous times. And the much more, uh, and because Matthew 24, verse 12, and because the iniquity shall abound, the love of men shall wax cold, because wickedness is going to continue increasing here in America, on planet Earth, especially in America, expect the love of men to wax cold, the compassion for one another to just dwindle away. No pity, no self-respect, no love, no, 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 just pure hatred, especially towards the prophets, especially towards the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the elect, the remnant, right? Those who fish the Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? Especially towards them, so that's why in the last days it's going to be much more perilous and perilous and perilous, much more dangerous, dangerous, full of danger and risk. Okay, to the point where we got to be even more circumspect, more vigilant, man. Really walk with, you no, know, really applying the, the scriptures, the wisdom, not see your walk, man. Try to be as peaceful as possible. Yep. Uh, be, uh, like that scripture's paraphrasing. It's paraphrasing that scripture. Uh, be at peace with all men, uh, 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 if it be possible. Be at peace with men. Just paraphrasing. Yeah. 
try in the best of your ability to be at to be at peace with the enemies. Okay? Alright, try not to give the enemy a, a reason to strike you. Okay? Wait until Yahweh Bashman Shai put the spirit onto our enemy to come in like a flood. So then the spirit, that warlike energy of Yahweh Bashman Shai lift up a standard against the nigga. And then he makes you uh, a, one of his weapons, his battle waxes, his weapons of war, give it that power to either fight there and then to defend yourself or the power to flight away. Yep. Like it says, uh, a standard against them, Isaiah 59, 19. It goes into like to either uh, to take flight, uh, either to the fight or like to like to fly away, like like from danger, like either or. Okay, all right. So yeah, you know, definitely got to be a lot more circumspect because I noticed recently how um, lately you just got a bunch of you know spies starting to be revealed yep. through the spirit, like that army for you, Howard Shai guy with his logo. He looks he looks very Muslim like. Okay. Um, the elder brother Manaka Zakba, uh, GMS uh, South Carolina 08, he did a sit down live lesson not too long ago. And then uh, there was two comments, uh, just two YouTube accounts that definitely, definitely they're not GMS for sure. Because Elder Elder Pastor already put out a decree that GMS ain't taking nobody else in. No, no new members. Okay? So you had one account that said GMS. Somalia, I think that's the name of the GMS Somalia. He said some. This person said some crazy shit. He said some shit like, uh, "I burned my rib to death." A P T T M A. So the the abbreviation all face to the most high. Yeah. You notice how they put GMS in it, trying to label to trying to label the GMS and all your brothers. You know, you, you know, we're not under a GMS camp, but we teach the same doctrine, yeah. which is the doctrine of who? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Yep. Okay, and they're gonna eventually label us into that group too. Started with GMS though, as like they're just a bunch of people that just go around just killing, blowing shit up. They're they rape, rapes, and all all this crazy shit. And then another one was GMS uh, Hamas. Out of all places, Hamas. Especially what's going on between the Hamas and and, and, and uh, uh, Israeli thing going on. Yeah. It said GMS Hamas. It says something like uh, that. The state of Mississippi is the land of Israel. Had a bug out, you know, picture as a, I'm like, yo, yeah, they, they Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the weak least, is really trying to tie us in with that group. And then those two uh, Jakes, a uh, Jake and, and an Eve at, uh, at Harvard, protesting and, and standing up with the whole Palestinian thing. Standing up with them. All right? Protesting this shit. And that and the, the the Jake that was like out there with the Eve, he got a, a similar attire like us. He's wearing a headband, but he's wearing like a scarf that like what they, what they normally wear overseas. Like really trying to slowly make themselves look like us. Yep. So then when, when all when that persecution finally comes, all hell break loose, they can tie us with them. Yep. May seem like we're all the same. Soon they're gonna put fringes on them. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna see a lot. I wouldn't be surprised because I, 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 I've been having thoughts. Maybe it's a, it's a sign, it's a message, I don't know, but I'm just keeping it mindful, I'm just keeping up with, just in case that somebody is prophesying right here on our turf. Really? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been seeing that like that it may happen, I don't know. Like that one time on a Friday, they was teaching oh, yeah. right there. Oh, yeah, uh, JC niggas was teaching right yeah. there, yeah. Right here on this on this sidewalk. This is pretty much our foundation. Yeah. This is where we've been building off of uh, that rock. Yep. Off of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, building our found our, our foundation in the name of Yahweh Shah. His name is already being mentioned here by us through the Spirit. So no one else should be teaching. So we, we, we're just gonna put it out there right now. If y'all happen to see anybody teaching right here in this parking lot by CVS off of Fairmount Parkway, all right. Saying that, you know, they come in the names of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai and they, they, they tie our names in it, talking about, you know, when we fellowship together and they just conduct themselves in a very wrongful way, saying some crazy shit in doctrine. We don't know them. Nope. There's only three of us. That's literally only three of us. That's it. We not taking nobody else in. It's just your Anand, Amir, and myself. That's it. So if anybody else try to come around and saying that they're part of us, not, no, no. They're lying. They're lying. They're lying. <laughs> All right? Okay? <laughs> Right, we want to put that out there. Let's move forward to the next uh, scripture. 
Chris, you got something you want to bring out? This is Luke chapter 20, verse 19 through 20. And the chief priests and the scribes, the same